Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. We're here in Hawaii, and I'm joined by the five foot of the world, Jill Simonello. We're doing the Toyota Tacoma first look. So, 2024 model. 2024, so let me give you some details. It's actually raining out here in this uh, place. So we're a little bit discombobulated. Like, You're discombobulated. You're the princess. I was thinking, did I say that right? Three syllable words. Talk discombobulated. Anyways, let's get back to the story here. So the press <laughs> release was 4,676 words. It's 10 pages long. So what I'm, and we have 20 minutes per truck. They have four trucks here. They have a TRD Pro, a TRD Sport Ren, a Limited, and a Trail Hunter. So uh, we're going to come back with information really fast. Those, that's the reason why. So let me go through some basic details. The engines. We have a 2.4 liter turbo. It has 278 horsepower and 317 foot-pounds of torque. Now that torque is maxed out at 1700 RPMs. Really low torque perf. They also have a 2.4 liter hybrid version. This has 326 horsepower, 465 foot-pounds of torque, and that gets 1700 RPMs as well. What's interesting, and I'll kind of do the camera like here, we have a six-speed manual transmission here, right? Yep. So there's an eight-speed and six-speed. The manual queen over here is really happy about the manual what's interesting about the manual though is that the horsepower goes down to 270 yeah. horsepower and torque goes down to 310 horsepower just i think it's the way the transmission shifts so you only lose eight horsepower right. let's be clear here that is not a lot right so but <laughs> just, just so you know uh this the hybrid version is similar to the tundra and similar to the sequoia it's got a 48 horsepower electric motor and a 1.87 kilowatt hour nickel metal hydride battery so what it does is that electric motors between the transmission engine and so it uses a combination of the engine and the electric motor and power to get that additional torque. Uh, Eight-speed transmission. We have, it tows 6,500 pounds, 1,709 max payload. We have a double cab, which is the crew cab. And we have a new extra cab, which is really exciting. It's basically a two-door model that has a little bit more room behind it. Now you can get that yeah. in the five or a six foot bed, the double cab, you can get the six foot bed, but it looks like a, a double, oh, well, for right now, I'm gonna tell you the six foot cab, I know comes in a trail hunter, to be determined. I didn't ask that question. Um, we have an SR for trims. We have an SR, SR5, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro Limited, the Trail Hunt, the TRD Pro, and the Trail Hunter. Yep. TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, TRD Pre-Runner, Limited, TRD Pro, Trail Hunter. That, like all of that is a mouthful. So what, yes. I, what I want to say is that Toyota has done really well here is they've given you a choice. Oh my gosh. I mean, they've given you choices. Like you look at the Colorado and Canyon and there are no choices. Yeah. I mean, usually I, I'm, I'm not negative, but usually I point out people that, that Toyota success is not giving you choices. In this case, and here's the other exciting part is each trim is completely different. Yeah. You know, I grew up in the days where the, the higher trim level was, a, you know, leather seats, better radio. No, no, no. Everything is completely different. So, for example, you get Leaf Spring Standard in the SR, SR5 Extra Cab, and the TRD Pro Runner. Yep. But there's new multi-link suspension that's available in TRD and above. Different suspensions, different cabs, different engines, different transmissions. Uh, we have a we have a lot of uh, details as far as we have an 8-inch stock screen inside here. We also have a 14-inch screen behind the driver we have a seven inch diagonal screen we have a 12.3 inch diagonal screen behind the driver multi-train monitor which means you have cameras look all the way around every model's got that um there on the trd and above we have uh electric electronically disconnecting front sway bar so you get better uh, wheel articulation going over rocks and we have electric power steer power steering throughout the lineup all right, so this as you as Tim is like going through his notes. I mean, there's just there's so just much so much, and I just want to get information out to you guys. Um, the last details; these are on trim levels. Last quick details: the bed is increased by seven percent for increased more volume. It's aluminum tailgate. It's got available power open. There's little there's buttons on each side of the tailgate, like you saw in the Tundra, um, on the sides. But also, it's got automatic power close with jam protection. So, yep. and you can take, you said you, you, she was here a couple days ago, but you can take yep. your, your knee yep. and you raise your knee up and the tailgate just closes. Just like if you just give it a little bump, if your hands are full, you're taking something out of the tailgate, you just bump it with your knee and. Yeah. And one of the most exciting things I thought was the hybrid has a 2400 watt AC inverter. So you have more power and that comes in a trail hunter. Yep. So you get the power to be able to run stuff at the campsite when you're off-roading with stuff. So let's. So that's a mouthful. I went through I, way too long an in intro on this, but there's so many details. So let's go ahead and talk about the TRD Sport yep. interior. So this is the interior of the new Tacoma. Uh, let's see. Let's. 
you want to start, we have the, well, a few details. We have the JBL speaker in here that yep. is removable, chargeable yep. and removable. So. so you can take it out and jam at your campsite. This is the 14 inch screen. I'm going to, I'm not, I don't want to start it up. I just want to show the screen here. This is the dash screen right there. Okay. And this again is the manual transmission. There is a clutch option for as far as doesn't kill, automatically kill, it may improve with that. And then there's a clutch hold option, a clutch start option right here, where that's with off-roading. If you're trying to like get things going and you don't want to, you want to hold the clutch or something like that, you can, you can push that mode in and get going. We have different drive modes, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four low. We have all my notes. We have yeah, I know, cup like, holders. Pages uh, and pages of notes. We have the center um, console there. We have the cup holders behind as well. Look at these these seats. I just the, the cloth seats. So yeah. this is going to be a more basic, um, you know, seating surface. Which I mean, these are attractive. They're durable. They're they they look nice. They feel like I mean they feel rough and rugged, but they, they I think they look pretty good. Um, but I have to tell you, the most startling thing that I see on this interior is this blue accent trim piece. Right, and and I actually really like the way this looks. I know you and I argued about a little bit with the Tundra and they did that kind of stamping, but this with the end Inlay I, I with the like black this. and light. I think it looks really sharp. Then we have a little storage in there. Little, we have the glove box. We have the vents down below, the big screen. The start every 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 vehicle comes with a start button. There's no key anywhere in the Tacoma lineup. But you'll notice with the TRD models, you the, get the start red. button is red. Yep. Um and, and another interesting thing as we go through the different trims, you will notice that um the accent pieces and even the, the badging here is like different um red. depending on the trim. Yeah, and so and then we have the controls up here, sunglass holder, which I'm just I love sunglass holders, digital review mirror is available we have trailer towing as well you have trailer brake there's a trailer brake controller as well we have a sunroof we have the small window in the back but that small window is powered right here there's a power for that, that window in the back um yeah and then there so these are all again don't watch the screen too much these are all prototypes we're not driving them today they're all prototypes things may not be what they appear when it comes out the marketplace right. and, and like this like the navigation screen isn't yeah, loading because right the, the... we haven't set it up yet yeah. yeah so you haven't done the ownership thing yet so that's what we have there a uh, big volume knob i actually just noticed that that thing is perfect and i like look the how, rubber yeah, look how, on the edge even like, with gloves good. on yeah. you could you could grab that and, and look at these buttons too because these are like okay so you've got jill size fingers on here so these buttons look huge but you put somebody's bigger finger on there and, or with gloves on yeah. and you you're not gonna like you're not gonna mess that up and then we have the charger here wireless charger which i don't know i, I want to do more testing on that one so because it, it does it sit in there pretty decent or is it like as soon as you turn that's gonna go like that yeah that, that's that's what I think. That's I, stupid. I think we need to work. I think Toad needs to work on the wireless charging kind of setup. But I think everything else, I mean, because we could do a GM thing, put it right there, it'd be perfect. Yeah. That GM does. But, anyways, uh, nitpicking stuff early on. But overall, I got to tell you, we are pretty excited because this looks pretty damn cool. Uh, all right. So it is raining. We're going to take one for the team and go out there and show you the exterior. So it's. Hence, we're wearing hats. It's what it is. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at the TRD here. We have a JBL sound system as well, right? So that looks pretty badass. Um, there's no payload stickers on this because pre-prototype. There's your reach rates. Oh, I need Jill, I need you. Need you. Okay. Um, yes. I need you to hop in and All show right. us some leg room. So the seat front was about set up for me. There you go, hopping in. Now, what about the headroom above your head? Um, oh gosh, that's that's, a, a, that's like a big, there's like a, a scoop up here. So that's a solid, I would say eight to 12 inches. So Jill is five foot tall, by the way, too. Yeah. Um, and there, this has more rear storage down here than the prior generation. And this can fold flat. So you have lots of good yeah. storage well, options. So, um, the, so the one thing to know, this is not the hybrid. This is the regular turbo engine. So because this is the regular turbo engine, you actually have underfloor storage. Right. So you're not going to have underfloor storage with the hybrid hybrid models because the safety because reasons and the, stuff the battery's got to battery go there under here. i know people don't want to hear that but that's what that's what's and going then, on let's see if i can <laughs> i don't know if i can get this um but this there we go yeah um so, so I, headrest down yeah yeah, yeah you gotta put but you could up, you get yeah. a flat surface there and then again if you're an a, a adventurer you want to go overland and stuff like that the extra cab i really really excited about that idea yeah. you have additional storage back there get rid of the rear seats just make it storage it's fantastic so uh jill you need to hold this i want to hop in okay. i want to see i want to see here if i'm going to hit my head <laughs> i right, grab handle i like the grab handle Not i i didn't I didn't hit my head at all. That's... And you still have leg room still behind leg room. you. So I can, yeah. So this is you behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's check front seats. Because that was my one complaint with the Tacoma before was, if you got in, you, some of my videos, I was like doing this head, yeah. head thing. But so I'm going to get in. No grab handle. Okay. 
just barely, just a touch. Really not bad at all. Like, yeah, I, like I can get out. Well, the, it seems I, like the rake of the um, the windshield isn't as uh, yeah, steep. Yeah, it's not as st steep. And the, like that is much better. A big fan of that. Okay, let me trade. Let's walk on the front a little bit. <laughs> taking the camera. Yeah, taking the camera. Somebody's uh, got stronger arms. Uh, no, anyways. Actually, I think I have stronger <laughs> arms. I just don't have Look a steady at that. arm. Flex. God, I know. I mean, like, can we, like, all right, yeah, all right. yeah, taco, taco. Um, taco. Um, yeah, so we have <laughs> functional air vents there. Look at that look. So, um, the other thing you're going to notice, because again, this is the lowest trim vehicle that we have here to look at, um, you have um, less shiny bits. So, yeah. this is a little bit more plastic looking. And we have an air dam, which you could take off if you needed yep. to. Uh, this one doesn't have recovery hooks, but other trim levels have recovery hooks right down there. Yep. And then we have the, the lighting there, which I really, yeah. And the hood scoop, I think the hood scoop is functional. This looks really nice. Let's, let's come around back. Yeah, yeah, I'm, so, I'm a little excited. I, I read the press release like four times. I was really blown away by this because they fixed the problems I thought with the Tundra. Look, that, like I can come up here with my arms full, hit that with my elbow. And, and, yeah, and the Tundra, when you did that, it just fell. It yeah. dampened, but it had no, it did the auto thing. But this, this is, well, hold on, this is my favorite. Oh, or do you want to show them? No, no, the please, 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 please. This, this is my, this is my favorite. Hands full, got a load. That's perfect. Come on, that's That's, that's cool. really cool. And then, I mean, the, the Tundra had this huge thing here. You couldn't get down with the tailgate down. What's mm -hmm. nice with the Tacoma is when you drop the tailgate, right? So I'm five foot seven eight with boots on and uh this is right next to my hip so i can i mean i can get into this a lot easier than i could the tundra and then the way the i keep saying tundra if you don't follow the channel i bought a tundra last year and did a bunch of videos on it. but this is the same kind of design they put in the tundra the same you can see the slant a little bit here this is because it comes out of casting that way they can only they have to pull it out of the the forge and cut it out of that um the, the die they cut they have to have a little slant to it but that's good amount of room this is 400 watt back here but again in the hybrid version of the trail hunter it's 2400 watts and we'll check that more and more but i think the hybrids always had the more no, no they don't I was gonna say, look, you've oh got i'm the sorry button over here too well, i just i went to close i just touched it and it closed it's, it's kind of cool but and, yeah you have the buttons over here too so the buttons yeah, are on both the buttons sides. all the way we have recovery kind of points you can see add those up we have the hitch set up there the plugins for the back for towing and then just i mean just the overall styling i just yeah, right. it looks good. It looks really good. And then this is a utility track system, right? So you can you can pull these off, you can move them around where you want to. They slide back and forth, tied on spots. Tied, we have four tied on spots, lighting in the bed. Um, the TRD Pro has a two inch lift in the rear, a two inch lift in the front, one and a half inch lift in the rear, and it's, it's three inches wider. So it's got bigger shoulders here above the tires. And something I will point out, now you don't see it on this truck, you just have one fin. Yeah. Um, but when you see the trucks with the three fins, that is when you have like a Bluetooth wireless camera that you can set up right. to attach back to a trailer. Um, so this doesn't have that option, but I know um, the Limited we're going to look at has it, and I think the TRD uh, might have it, the TRD Pro. But um, so uh, if notice on the top, the fins with the um, remote access camera that you can attach to your camera or to your trailer so that you can you know yeah. see behind you yeah. even if you're hauling something yeah and they all have tss 3.0 systems so lots of safety technology mm -hmm. um a, a few details make sure i talk about uh pricing's not out yet and fuel economy will always come out later yeah. epa's got to do their certification so it's always closer to launch you get fuel economy so we don't have those numbers yet but we were told it has better fuel economy better fuel economy better torque delivery less emissions yeah that seems kind of great kind of all right, let's, we're going to move along to another truck here and keep this video within not being an uh, hour and a half long. Yeah. Okay, so this is the TRD Pro. We have the lights on, the TRD light bar there like you see in the Tundra, the same idea. And Vanna White there is doing a great job. We have rigid LED lights there. We have the bigger stance and, uh, yeah. The and there's a TRD um, skid, skid plate, plate underneath. Yep, yep. Um, bigger tires, obviously. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so the the it definitely. I think what do they say? Like a two inch wider stance. It's uh, it's in my notes. But yeah, it's a wider stance. You can see the the black there on the sides. That's fenders. That's the wider. That's your wider stance. Yeah. And then the TRD tires, TRD Pro in the hood, and then this is the black and white. I always call it the Stormtrooper look. <laughs> um, and then there is your your on the top there. It's really muddy back there. And there is your t double shark fin back there. Yeah. And and the TRD Pro we should say is the only one that comes with the two tone option. Okay. Yep. So there's that. I'm yeah. Oh, and look at this. This is a really cool detail. Yeah. 
TRD there, TRD Pro there, and you have your red spring there or your uh, shock cover. I'm sorry, lost words there. Um, so <laughs> it's the rain you're melting. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm melting. Uh, does this have the multi-link coil suspension or has this got leaf springs? No, that's a that's looks like a multi-link. I don't see any leaf springs back here, so there is that. And then we have the same kind of stuff there, and uh, I can try to get around. And I'm not going to try and get around. Yeah. I'm going to let you do that. So um, we have the red recovery hooks there and there. And then we have the TRD Pro there on the back. So And again, you have the power lift gate with the buttons on the side. And again, the same bump up that you could do with the um, TRD Sport that we looked at. Yep. Um, definitely a higher profile. It's definitely lifted. Um, I, I, I feel dwarfed next to this and I right. do not feel dwarfed next to the TRD Sport. Yeah, this thing is pretty badass. I can see my, I can see my reflection in the camera inside. So let's go ahead and hop inside and talk more about this. Okay, so this is the interior of the TRD Pro. We have the TRD Pro there, the JBL, the same interior setup we saw in the TRD Sport. The interior, this is this has got the black mode activated. This is actually for the black mode. You have a black or white there. I think the black looks amazing. When I had the Tundra, I had the black all the time. The TRD Pro there, you have yeah, the shifter. And the, the shifter is different. Yep. The TRD there, shifter, the thing. This is the electronically uh, disconnecting front sway bar, gives you more articulation. We have a rear locker in this as well. The panorama move view for the different cameras there the digital review camera there we have a uh, this is the backup trailer button that allows you at, a, at like a boat launch to press a button to truck will back it up backup trailer distance we had the downhill assist control crawl control these have been standard in, in the trd versions of different vehicles for many many years and yeah and then these are seats but we're going to talk more of these seats we have a, a separate display of seats we'll talk about those more over there but i also want to point out like again we said that each um, model has some different characteristics and you'll notice this doesn't say tacoma this says toyota and it's the blockier look that you see on the tundra and um and, and again you have different finish on the dash you've got the red leather here on the um the um the glove box yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, uh, we're getting rain we're on a, this is run a set of volcano <laughs> right um we have that we have the the up top here with the red so this idea keeps you know where the center of the wheel is mm -hmm. this is a trd wheel sports, yeah sports yep. steering wheel yep um you also have the aluminum sport pedals i meant to turn i was going to turn off that stuff because we have a they want to make sure to serve the battery turn the lights off there we go um over here we have the ace you can that's out for the bed tailgate down fuel door the lighting this is turns on the brightness for the screen headlights auto headlights we have an auxiliary which is really cool um these are usually clicks buttons up here for auxiliary options so like mm -hmm. if you install a let's say a air compressor in the bed to put air in your tires when you're off-roading when you take them off you have auxiliary hookups there additional lighting hook that in too and then we have the lights for the bed so um and also just we should point out these seats um the seating surfaces this is leather and you have like the more camouflage look yeah. again that you saw on the tundra trd um so you know some some things have carried down through you have some nice texture on this grab handle um but but yeah so i i like the the camouflage look i like the red seats uh and and i don't think any other trim offers the red seats other than the trd pro yeah well that's pretty darn cool all right let's keep moving along okay we're here at the seat we're going to show you the seat demonstration but before we do that aha have my notes uh trd pro fox qs3 three-way adjustable in internal bypass shocks we have a fox internal floating bump stocks so it's really cool so the bump stocks bump stocks bump stops <laughs> are internal floating which means if you hit them off-road it's not such a harsh reaction bump stops what are below between the frame and the bed so you don't crush the bed into the rest of the truck uh two inch taller one and a half inch taller in the rear two inch taller in front one and a half inch taller in the rear so basically the truck has a rake but they basically made that level they level the truck three inch wide like I said 33 inch tires it has a trd cat back dual exhaust arb metal bumper rigid white led lights we showed you and then the iso dynamic performance seat which is this guy right here yeah. and i think the big news in the seat wouldn't you agree is on the back if i can turn my camera on <laughs> my sorry yeah uh, yeah so what this does is it adjusts while you're off-roading and so that way it keeps you in a perfect seating position as you're hitting those big whoops or doing ju well, jumps and things like that i don't want to say jumps on camera i wasn't sure legal wise but if you jump it this is what you're gonna get <laughs> so uh when you're hitting those bumps and doing the off-road stuff this seat dynamically adjusts to keep you in a great seating position so you're not flying around the cabin 
I, I, maybe I need some of these for my Rebel uh, truck. I think you do. These things are <laughs> badass. These, <laughs> like, although I will say the, the, the seats in our uh, little Rebel truck are pretty awesome. Yeah, we do. She does uh, cruise with that. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is... This is. I don't even this is, know what all this stuff yeah, is. Yeah, this is true off-roading I can't stuff. wait to like play with this. I know. We, uh, I can't wait to see to what drive. it's like. In the, yeah. yeah, driving situations would be awesome. But yeah, that's what this setup is. And you can see the front. And then you see the bolstering. The bolstering is not hard, no. hard, so you can, but it keeps you in the seat. It's, it's very, it's yeah. It's very, yeah. Sport seats. And again, you know, the sport seat, again, it, it's going to like cup your shoulders, your middle, well, your middle. Right, right. Middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How muddy is it? It's this muddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and these are coffee plants, by the way. Whoa, look at all that. See? That's so how far. muddy it is. I'm too far away to catch you. Okay, so now we're at the Tacoma Limited, and really a nice setting here, a little sunset there behind the clouds. Uh, but yeah, so the Tacoma Limited, we can have a lot of chrome. That's what happens in tr limited trims. Yes. You don't like it, there's other trim levels you can buy. Uh, I actually like the chrome. And then we have the big air damper and aerodynamics. So, I mean, I mean, the biggest it's basically, thing is yeah, going to be, the, the this is well finished. Um, and you know what, I want to say, looking at this, one of the really nice things that they've done here that they didn't do with the Tundra is they kind of finished the grill. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah, we I just, had a I lot like... of complaints with the, the Tundra and how it just is, you know, and it doesn't look done. And this looks finished. Yep. I'm a big fan of this. I just, it's a little piece for me, but I really like that look. And then you have the, yeah. the iForce backs there, a little more shoulder line there. You can see with the, um, sorry, I have an umbrella protecting the camera. <laughs> Here, this is, this is really cool. Look, point down. Point down. Oh, Power yep. Running boards. Powered running boards. Yep, powered running boards. And they and unlike people's criticism, power running boards do work in wintertime climates. They do work with snow and stuff. They just if they're if they're frozen, they won't retract. That's yeah. the only deal. Um, we have two shark fins on top, which I'm glad you pointed out. Because now I'm counting. Oh, I have three. We have three yeah. shark fins. So you can add that exterior camera when yep. you're towing and stuff like that. The, the bed's the same. We have the same uh, power. We have a chrome tip there. With a nice we have a multi link accent. suspension, I believe, when I see down there. Leaf Springs SR5 and SR trade grades, but uh, multi link there, which will give you a better ride quality, is what multi link usually does. And then, oh, we have a little bumper. Can you show off the step without getting your foot stuck? I can, actually can. <laughs> I tried it the other day, and um, this actually works really well right. um, without me um, getting my foot stuck and then, you know, having to hop around. We had an issue with a uh, power wagon, if you had to follow the channel. It was um, I, had, funny. I had to rescue it, her on camera. It goes camera. up and down pretty easily. So. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. nice. Yep, so uh, there's that. Okay, let's uh, hop in the cabin and yep. do more. Okay. The power running boards. Oh, I have a Toyota spelled out here as well on that plate. And I'm gonna move the seat back. I believe you have power on your side of your seat, if I remember reading that right, that every grade has power, I think, or this grade's got power. Um, again, <laughs> lots of words. Uh, we have this nice material here, the dash, hook up there. Let me hop in, got the rain. Yeah. I, I mean, not hitting my head at all, that's like a huge win. I, I, and we had problems with GMC Canyon mm -hmm. trying to get in. We have the grab handle. Here's the deal. Uh, we have a grab handle there, but most brands want you to grab the steering wheel. I know it sounds counterintuitive. You don't want to grab it. You want to keep the steering wheel nice and, and not grab it. But brands are telling me these days, just grab the steering wheel. It's fine. You don't need the other grab handle. That's yeah. what the deal is. Whatever. Yep. And so we have the, this is, look at that. Yeah. So like you have this nice wood accent and again, they've spelled out Tacoma in this one rather than Toyota and the, the lettering is different. So like you noticed in the TRD, it was that blocky Toyota. Right. And then this, it has like some more angles and lines to it for Tacoma. Um, but again, leather on the glove box. You've got this nice texture on this, um, oh shit handle. Um, you have the big screen. Um, power on the car really quick. So we were talking about the three fins and um, the idea is that if you put the vehicle into gear, um, so you go into reverse, you can see there's like this auxiliary camera oh, yes. here that's not hooked up. Right. But what happens is you can then hook up like via Bluetooth or wireless the um, camera that will um, be able we're to... Beat that. I'm going to try to... I try to get rid of the okay. Okay. It's just pre-prototype. No, you're fine. You keep talking. Um, I'm just. Okay. I'm just getting. Rid of, I'm getting rid of the warning. There's a warning message I don't want to show because it's just it's pre-production. Um, but so like if you would hook up that 
Oh, because that's the, um, I'm going to eat. Um, yeah. So Hop, that was, stop hitting the stop, button. I've been, I've been hitting the button again. I'm going to hit it again. Because I want you to. <laughs> oh, you're intolerable. Um, um, but, but so it's really cool. That's what the three fins are for um, with the auxiliary camera that you can show. But I just love that you can um, have all of these different camera angles. And one of the things that I thought was just excellent is look at how detailed. Like you can see yeah. the blades of grass. This is a high def camera that is really nice. And then you've got you know the a really cool view. view and this is your off-road view when you turn that on it'll actually show down downwards so we do this when you're climbing some rocks you look down and this these cameras there's a little debate about these online but these cameras are uh national NHTSA, which is National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, limited to certain low speeds, certain time limits. You can't drive with these cameras on for distracted driving, but they do have a good, they do show you um, driving at low speeds. Let's turn the heat on, but yeah. Oh, and you've got heated and cooled seats. I'll give you a cool butt. And then, yeah. The heated steering wheel. And you know what? You know what else is really cool about this? They put the heated steering wheel button in a logical yes, location. Yes, instead of being like all the way over here, yeah. weird spot, like you're, oh, I need heat right there. Yep. And then you can hear, this is what happened a lot with the Tundra, people were confused by this. You can hear some fans behind me, some little wind noise. That's the cool seats. Yeah. So that's what that sounds like. They're, they're pushing air through. So thank you for cooling my butt down. Um, <laughs> on this case, we have the little, see, this is this is where this is where the phone holder, grab your phone, please. Um, this has a little piece there. That one, I think this works better. Um, I don't know. I still think it's going to. Yeah, it's still going to move around on you. Yeah. I uh, just think that's a stupid location. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, it's what it is. So we have four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low, low, low four-wheel drive, different modes, different tow haul modes, and yeah. And that you have a little bit of chrome here. What's nice, and a lot of limited trims have this, they have all this chrome in here, chrome mm -hmm. around places, and it blinds you as you're driving. Yeah. What's great about this Tacoma is this is all yeah. matte everywhere and yeah. matte. And thank goodness there's not all this no freaking black piano black everywhere that's i'm okay with that okay with that but look at all the this is great because off-roading or driving or owning a vehicle i'm telling you this gets dirty immediately and you're always cleaning it but this surface here is going to be easy to clean easy to do i mean just yeah. i just think that toyota well they really thought about this <laughs> they really what? they, 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 either, they either listen to our feedback or they listen to customer feedback or whatever but they really thought about all these little details that we've been complaining about in different vehicles and so our next uh, our next mission is to work on the uh <laughs> the, yes. the wireless charging yeah I, that's the only thing i could think of and, and if they've borrowed gm's idea of putting it down here or something like that i think it'd be a lot better but yeah um that's the only critique i'd have on this vehicle so far and besides that i i can't wait to drive it all right we got one more to go and the one we're gonna look at next is it's oh, probably the coolest yeah, one i know coolest I'm, one of the bunch save really, the best for last i'm really excited let's go check it out okay now we're at the trail hunter the i think the most badass version of the truck yep. and jill showing off the trail hunter badge which the, is the unique. little logo this yeah. is so cool it's like a little compass it's yeah. really cool they have like they have hats and, and shirts and stuff for that i just think it looks pretty cool and then we're gonna put something in in a minute we have an arb steel 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 bumper back there and then uh -huh. we have sheldon brown chief engineer he's going to talk about some tie down points and recovery points i'll put that in the video right about now okay so we have tie down points in the front we have those are bolted in the frame sorry we have recovery in the front recovery in the front okay we have recovery in the rear and we have a specialized tie down on both sides here okay all for right trailering whatever for trailering because theoretically if you pull this this way we'll start to do this back and forth and you can break that torque loose you know, right and then we talked about other models have a recovery point on the passenger side and they have a tie down point on the driver's side. That's right. Yep. Exactly right. Because you don't always want to you don't always want to tie down to recovery points because they can loosen up a little bit and yeah. So we have tie downs for trailering. That's right. So yeah. And the good news in ours in this particular case because we shoot our bolt up that front. Yeah, because my backpack is in there as well. Okay. Okay, so let's keep going. So we have in the rear, let's I want to talk about this because this is a pretty cool thought process. Yeah. Um, this opens back here. So we have two things. We have DC on the left, which is direct current, and we have AC on the right, which is alternating current. Yep. But this is a built-in air compressor with memory function. Yeah. And it's built in at the point where you have presets and stuff. And yeah. this you so if you air down your tires off-roading, which is something they would recommend you doing, yep. and you can just type in a number, you put that down to your tire, and then you go have a beer and come back and the tire's filled up. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what I want to say is um, Holy ha cow. having uh, to air down and air up like four tires during Rebel, this would be super handy. Yeah, and they have USB-C, USB, yeah. and then they have a 12 volt over there as well. So you have lots of power yeah. options built in a truck and 2,400 watts of power 
in the AC side as well. So anything you want to add in the campsite, I mean, you got, that's well done. And then we have the same tailgate trick, yep. which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's not fall. We want to show you some details on the yeah, side. Try, try not to fall over any of this, but um, you're going to notice you've got some beefier tires here. You've got the um, bronze wheel covers, which I think look really nice with this green color for the, the truck. Um, and that's, that's ARB old man emu suspension system you can see the, the logo right there yeah the multi-link you can see the multi-link a lot better there coil suspension there multi-link so you have uh, different links going through it keeps the ride quality, ride quality really well done in this vehicle and you're gonna have rock rails on this oh this rock moves um, rock <laughs> rails on this instead of uh, um, power running boards or running boards um, to protect the side of the vehicle. Oh, and these aren't on at the moment. We'll figure out why, but these are white lights that are like deck lights, cam, yeah. or whatever they call them. Anyways, they light up the surface around here. So at your campsite, you have lighting for this side. So if yeah. you're getting up at night or you want to set your, your table over here, whatever, you, you have lights from the truck, which is pretty darn cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to we're going to go around. I'm not going to, again, how muddy is it? It's It'd muddy. be muddy. Um, this is an air intake up there, which I talked to Sheldon about this, the chief engineer. The See those gills on the backside? Those gills are where the air comes in. So a lot of them, they have air coming from the front, which means in a rainstorm or a snow situation, you need to close that off and flip them around. But they did it in a way where air comes to the back. No, don't worry about that. And so you don't have to worry about getting dirty air or snow or ice in there. What's great about that is when you're off-roading, it takes clean air above the trail. A lot of trails when you're trail driving, you have a bunch of cloud because people are in front of you. It pulls the air in, it's clean air, and so your engine just loves it. It's a good thing. Okay, so this is another challenging spot, but- uh, <laughs> Moving around to the front. Yeah, uh, the front. Um, you know, we have the, the tie down points that um, Sheldon pointed out. No, those are recovery points. Or recovery points So there's here. a recovery point, then there's a tie down point uh, on the rear. Okay. But recovery points, so you get on the trail hunter, you get both of them. Other models, you get a recovery hook on the passenger side, tie down spot on the driver's side. Then you have, yes. this is really cool. So, so we're, gonna, we're gonna demonstrate that yeah. as soon as we don't fall. So uh, yeah, Jill. I, I will go, it's, I will not it's fall. It's all you, yeah. It's so, all me. So yeah, you, you talk, I'll go So that's light. white, it also comes yellow. You can't have amber due to NHTSA regulations, but they wanted a different light on this so that way down the trail, you weren't blinding somebody with your white lights and then boom, that's yellow, but we call them amber or whatever. Inside the cabin, the button actually shows amber, not yellow, but yeah, just a NHTSA situation there. And he said, did the light, TRD light bar. Uh, the TRD light bar, they said he'd like double the output, like 10,000 lumens. There's a big button. Did it go? No. I'm hitting the button. Okay, well, pre-production. Oh, well, you know, we had that on a TRD Pro. That's right, so you saw the TRD Pro. I don't need to demonstrate that. We have a trail hunter there as well. And then uh, stay right there, Jill. <laughs> Sit your butt in the seat. I'm going to hand you the camera. All right. Because I, that's, that's my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and again, these are pre-production vehicles, so there's no payload numbers, that kind of deal. That's why you don't see the door jam and so, no bin numbers. Uh, you know, and I'll point out again, you have the black year Toyota letter lettering over here. You have a different accent piece on the dash, you know, different stitching, um, you know, different seating materials again, and the seating design, uh, you know, different colored piping. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll point out the floor mats because these are pretty cool too, because you have a topographical mat right here. And again, the trail hunter logo and a very, soggy right door. and and he all uh, sheldon also said we have footwell lights in here too so it should be really low at night which is really important when you're off-roading you know because you, you you don't always do an eight to four and get done when it's light out sometimes you get done when it's dark out yep that is true yeah well uh, all right we're gonna go dry up and get a uh, whiskeys or whatever we're gonna get to yeah not be so wet so for more <laughs> check, check videos over here as well website down below pickuptruckcom uh, we'll have spec sheets we'll have review and reviews lots of details for you as always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road. Okay, good. We didn't fall. No. That's good. <laughs> we did not fall yet. There's, there's always the backup. There's always time. <laughs> there's always time. <laughs>